How high will a uh, bullet go if they you shoot it They did it on Mythbusters, I think. We can check with them. How high will a bullet go? Did they do go? the Mythbusters one? Because mm-hmm. if you shoot it straight up and it comes back down, can that hurt someone? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, kill them. Death. 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 They'll be really? death. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. No, Andre's no. saying no, and he's vegan. I don't vegan. think so. You don't think. I don't think so. I, well, it's an old wives' tale. You ever heard? No, no, because, right, it might no, be true. Because, because, because then at that point, the bullet is being carried down by gravity, and the weight of that bullet and gravity combined, it won't penetrate oh, a human. Did you velocity? think gravity velocity. is affected by weight? Uh, I don't know, God. but he, about, uh, so you just barked up a really bad tree. Yeah, because no, Logan no, 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 is no, a please. fucking scientist. No, on one yeah. thing. I don't, on a couple things, but one of them <laughs> is fucking gravity. Do not, do Talk not, about gravity do not him? test him on gravity, bro. <laughs> it's quite literally, besides TikTok, one of the only things he cares about. <laughs> What's the? Uh, 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 but what I, I just know that it's not going to have the same velocity as when it's being shot out of a gun. Oh, that's that's definitely true. So that's true. Kill you. That's. I don't think so. I think, all right, so I think, let me see. All right, first off, even if you have a good sense of a bullet's minimum lethal velocity, it's still pretty difficult to clock the speed of a round fired in the air. Gunshots can travel as high as 10,000 oh, feet. You can take so, so if I drop the bullet, from two miles, because at some point the bullet has to go like this, right? The bullet's going up and then it has to go. And then it's at zero miles per hour. Yeah. And then it comes back down. So if I drop a bullet from 10,000 feet. The potential energy that that bullet has from 10,000 feet is so high because it will all be converted to kinetic energy. It will be going probably, probably oh, shit. 500 I, to 1,000 miles an hour. And it's, I don't, and it's, the, it's still but a how can the how can the human body only fall at a max speed of like 180 something or 150? 100, 120 miles an hour yeah. is terminal velocity. So we looked yeah, this up. Yeah, but then we, we saw we, that we, that wasn't true, even we, close to true. We, we, we looked this up. This one I have no answer for because we were talking about this and we were talking about Felix Baumgartner, Gartner's jump out of the uh, space station from uh, fucking however high he jumped. But he was in space, right? Then he jumped out. 100,000 feet. Um, so. he, he broke the, the sound barrier, the speed of sound. I actually think... Yeah, he broke yeah, the he, did, he broke he the sound barrier, which is which is, I think it's like eight hundred something miles an hour. Is that what's the speed? If of it's seven sixty nine, I win. I can't remember that properly, but three hundred forty three meters per second. Does anyone know that in miles per hour? That's like that's like roughly a thousand one hundred or something. Terminal velocity is fifty four meters per second or one seventy seven feet per second. Nice. No, it's not. Uh, Keep going. Numbers. That's what I have. Right Everyone here. say more numbers. Please. Terminal velocity fifty four meters per second, but that could also be wrong if Google's wrong. What's the speed of the sound barrier? That's like... Why is it giving me meters per second? Oh, 767 miles yeah. per hour. Oh, right? So it's it almost 800 miles so an hour. Close. Right, so he, he broke that. <laughs> Anyways, a bullet falling from two miles in the air. Will a bullet... <laughs> It's dropped. like I guess it's yeah I guess it's like dropping a nickel from the Empire State Building like you, you've heard that rumor yeah and like if you, you kill, someone, kill right? someone you've heard that I, mm. I saw you got pretty fired up about this Andre um, bullets fired in the air usually fall back with terminal velocities much lower than their muzzle velocity when they leave the barrel of a firearm nevertheless people can be injured sometimes fatally when bullets discharge in the air fall back down to the ground oh so Baumgartner's reason so it's a maybe you maybe. might get killed can be fatal it's gonna be a fast bullet. It's, hey bro, that hits you yeah, but, but also, if you get bullet? shot straight from a gun, you there's not like a certainty that you're dying in the head. Oh. In the head, yeah. We're talking headshots. I bet, I bet, I bet the uh, fatality rate's the same. Yeah. Hey, you. The reason for Baumgartner was uh, atmospheric, which we thought. Say, uh, say again. So, uh, uh, under normal circumstances, reaching terminal velocity means one speed subsequently stays constant. But that's only true when external forces remain constant. In this specific uh, skydive, the surrounding atmosphere thickens dramatically as Baumgartner falls, so the upward drag force exerted on him by the air steadily increases. Consequently, the local terminal terminal velocity drops as the altitude drops. And so, so he reached so when he was his supersonic to, he was speed going, in space. Oh, so when yeah, he got back down to Earth, he, he was, was at terminal velocity. Oh my God! And so and so, so he slowed down. Terminal velocity yeah, is bad. based. Yeah. Is like a cushion. That's like 100%, mother nature's yes. brakes. Yes, <laughs> sort of. I wish he, I wish he did a little more so we didn't have to use parachutes. <laughs> but then the air would be too <laughs> <Yeah>. heavy. <laughs> just at the very bottom, you just landed on a zero, pillow. Yeah. 